Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Extra PSA, 50 to 51 cents, guys, right? Uh, slightly in the green today. But we have a lot of stuff happening, guys. You guys ready? So check this out. First of all, quote, I am negative on Dogecoin from Jim Cramer. The XRP and the way I'm negative on X the XRP. Again, first of all, he stated XRP. Yes, but the first coin he mentioned was XRP, right? Then he mentioned and the Litecoin and the Dogecoin, because I've yet to find anything that anybody who really takes them. Again, so I mean, I I'm guessing he's just sleeping or not looking around, guys, right? Or or his eyes are not open. But check this out. If this, if this, we actually talked about this back. I'm pretty sure this was the clip when in December, guys, right? And he stated this. If you check the receipts, we stated that this is where we should be very bullish on XRP because he stated something negative about XRP, guys. Right? Go ahead and check the receipts. And then we say that all we need Jim Cramer to say is XRP will one day go to zero. So, which is very bullish for XRP, folks, right? We already know the game plan. I mean, look what happened to Dogecoin just recently, guys, when he stated that it went to 10 cents. You can't make that stuff up, right? I'm negative on XRP. Good, Kramer. You read the script. Well, exactly. On the, on the mainstream news as well, guys, right? They don't want people invested. Well, remember, this is for entertainment value only. This isn't financial advice because today we have a lot to talk about, guys. You guys ready? Now, guys, your third phone part of XRP in the XRP community. Now, this is called White. Interesting. So, pay attention because we're going to mix up the riddles and the news. Today will be a big day. Trump will be the first former president to stand before a judge in his court appearance today in New York City, right? As David reminded us, this is not a trial, but merely a but merely an arrangement, as you guys can see right here, right? The decals line up for today being our zero day, guys. Now, I'm not going to read all of this stuff, but you guys can go ahead and... I'll have the links down below so you guys can investigate further, right? Interesting stuff, guys. Now, we go to this next week. Today is 322 on the Julian calendar. There you guys go, right? Skull and bones. It's six months, uh, 24 days after the start of the Egyptian co uh, Coptic year, which begins on 9-11. 624 was the founding day of the Grand Lodge in, no in London in 1717, guys. Today is a Masonic day, right? And this is why we see, we're see we about to see all these connections here in today's video, guys. You guys ready? These next few days are about to be explosive, to say the least, because it seems like everything is adding up. Now, so you guys remember when Mr. Poole locked his account? It sure seems like he unlocked it now, right? Again, today, Donald Trump, right? A few connections because he posted this right here. From Fojack, Mr. Poole for uh, April 3rd, 2023, as you guys can see, for Angel Times, Trump moves to reassure shocked allies and nervous investors. Hmm. Interesting. Right? A lot of Trump talk from uh, Mr. Poole, guys. Cliffhanger, again. Cliffhanger meaning put on hold, right? As in suspense, guys, waiting for the next episode. What's going to occur or take place? Remember when Mr. Poole stated, nothing will happen, right? Repost 321, as you guys can see right here. Interesting. A lot of talks about uh, Trump, guys. A lot, a lot, a lot. Now, if the, de if the damn party had a time machine from Elon Musk, why do time travelers keep trying to kill me? I'm just a realtor, guys, from Donald Trump, 1980, right? Now, it it's funny because interesting that you would post this. Well, check this out. In 1889, a novel titled Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground's Journey was written. He would go on to write another book titled The Last President in 1900. Um, this is a mystery which involves if Trump's family, Nikola Tesla, time travel, and dark forces. Wow! He then, so this person right here, Lockwood, went on to write another book titled The Last President, folks, which is who? Donald Trump. As you guys can see right here, right? This book, the, the similarities between the characters in this book and Trump's family, isn't that something? Again, it's all been planned ahead of time, so how will they know, guys, right? And there's a huge thread uh, on this, if you guys would like to check it out further. So, which is fascinating, guys. That's crazy, isn't it? Time travel from Elon Musk, he knows as well. From Rage Against the Machines music video where they played outside New York, um, New York Stock Exchange, as you guys can see, Sleep Now in the Fire. Donald J. Trump for president, right? 2000. Again, guys, the presidents. Then we go down here. Indeed, Elon Musk, rage for the machine. Mmm. Rage for the machine, huh? You know what's even crazier? Check this out. Patterns, patterns, patterns. Why? 
but it's like this sweet how, from Baba Cooks. How it started versus how it's going, right? How it started was from Mr. Pool one one three. Again, repeating numbers, guys, right? Repeating patterns. The wave, the wave symbol, or the hand motion, and as well from this timeline from Marvin Gaye, if I'm not mistaken, which shows XRP. Then now, what do we see right here, guys? Donald Trump, right? The wave, the hand motion. Again, all all he <laughs> imagine he had a um a tattoo or or he drew XRP on his hand, guys, right? So this is just pretty crazy, guys. Interesting. Then, breaking Trump's legal team uh, speaking to the press right here. Uh, it's exactly what he expected. And it's exactly what he expected, guys. So to that extent, there's no surprise. Because he knew what's going to, what was going to happen before it took place. Why? Because they know what? A dark December, right? Next in-person hearing for Trump case scheduled for December 4th, guys. Wait a moment. December 4th, that's a day after uh, Mr. Poole's December 3rd. Evacuate. Wait, what? What is that, guys? Right? That's number one. Number two, surely things will go smoothly between now and then. But number three is what? It's that right before 2024 occurs. Hold on a minute, folks. 2024, 2025, the reset, if I'm not mistaken, folks. Right? A dark December. Prepare. Interesting. New Trump and now. But, but then we don't have to wait that long because Trump announces a plan to address the nation at 8.15 from Mar-a-Lago Mar on Tuesday. Just hours uh, Just. Hours after his arrest, guys, so 8.15, pay very close attention to what he states, right? There's, he's probably going to say some crazy things. Now, Trump arrest watch. On this on this day in 1968, Martin Luther King was, you guys know, right? Again, that's so crazy. On this day, guys, right? And then hundreds of Americans gathering in uh, over here. Despite threats of violence and warnings from New York City's Democrat mayor. And then we see Rep Green right here. In support of Trump. Again, a lot of things are happening, guys. But you know what's even crazier? Check this out. Biden told us that Democrats will do anything in their power to stop Trump from running and becoming next president. Right now, again, to me, it doesn't matter, guys. Why are people so raging as we speak? Because this is all pre-planned, or this was right. We just have to demonstrate that he will not take power um, by uh, if we uh, if he does run. Uh, making sure he, uh, under legitimate efforts of uh, our Constitution, does not become the next president again. Because there will not be a next uh, presidential election, guys, right? In 2024, Mr. Poole stated there will not be one, right? Or, or he stated 2024 will not occur. Is that the year or the elections or something else, guys, right? So it, it is fascinating, guys. Trump is now under arrest and, and celebrates, as you guys can see, with this right here. Absolutely crazy, guys. Wow. Again, what's really going to happen, right? When Trump is elected in 2024, remember, it will not take place, though, right? So I wanted to point out if there is no election next year, guys, right? Um, what's the game plan? How will Donald Trump be the last president and whatnot, guys? Well, perhaps he's going to be coming in as the solution to the problem that will occur at that point, guys, in time, right? Probably that way. M maybe so. DA Bragg just illegally leaked the 33 points of indictment, guys. 33. Again, it's all about these numbers. This is how you know it's all rituals at the end of the day, guys, right? Now, let's get to the juicy part of the video. Just a little bit, guys, and we're going to uh, continue this tomorrow. In tomorrow's video as well from Tammy right here wonder what happens this day hopefully something good right again things are about to accelerate why because it could this be a two-year Delta um, on April 6th Brad Garland House tweeted today was a good day as well as on April 6th uh, reverse bearable guy tweeted what a nice day then mr. Poole tweeted on April 6th confirm beautiful day or is that six four right again four six right there Wow six four again a mirror confirm beautiful day again Will April 6th be a beautiful day, guys? Hopefully, right? Finally. Oh, maybe what? The lawsuit concludes possibly, right? It seems clarity. Wait a moment. This is crazy because I freaking love Thursdays. And remember, April 6th is on a Thursday as well. Hold on a minute. Now, because 4-6 pulls time zone, guys, right? 4-5. And 4-6 will be pulls time zone. I'm guessing in a different time zone. The EU, perhaps? I'm not sure. But, or UK. 4-6, um, right? Again, clarity, 
perhaps right uh, jail uh scales and justice as well is there will uh, oh my guys i really do hope the case finally concludes on this day imagine it does you know how crazy and ballistic that will be absolutely just mind-boggling now fojack kindly uh linked the uh, post or so basically this thread shows all the tweets from mr pool that will connect to for six guys april 6th right this cyber attack post right here it takes us to april 5th 2023 connects with uh 985 days right 589 in reverse which is the reset as well as this guys a lot of connections to these specific dates right what is this guys 13 times 9 is 11 7 which is what 9 11 right on the different calendar 5 8 9 5 plus 8 plus 9 equal 13 9 guys right wow 5 plus 8 is 13 and then 9 which is 5 8 9 not to mention this is very important this number 13 9 and then 13 8 which is 138 139 right all these connects to somehow some way on april 5th and 6th guys will anything take place on this day i'm not sure but we may or you must pay attention right as you guys can see right here shocked faces on these on april 5th and 6th perhaps right so something supposedly probably will occur guys from baba Cook's april 15th which is one plus six is what or one plus five is six right or six now the fountain for today's video comes from baba Cook's great gods about to abolish wednesdays as you guys can see from jim kramer tomorrow is wednesday april 5th 2023 right again this is so crazy what's going to happen tomorrow and after tomorrow guys even Jim is stating it. Why? I don't think he have ever stated this before, right? 229 or 226, which is fascinating, guys. Let's prepare, which is what? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 timestamp. Isn't that something? Huh. Again, let's prepare. Tomorrow, we're going to continue with these dates, guys, because it seems like there's a lot of connections to say, at least not financial advice. Let's prepare, prepare, prepare. I don't know what's going to happen, but let's see. Let's be patient and see, guys. It seems like things will accelerate to say at least. Now, anyways, that's all, guys. Amazing, Nanas. See ya.